Hoo-hoo, everyone. I'm a web fiction author. My name is Joanne Ninjahan and I'm writing Antitoast, the VR MMORPG. And this is a lit RPG novel. We lit RPG authors have a nemesis and it's called Spreadsheets. And today I want to show you my little sweet monster spreadsheets. I currently got three. One um, for the general novel and I started the spreadsheet in 2017. People in software development call this, it has historical growth. <laughs> that means it has a lot of um, obsolete parts. I never came to delete them and um, I should tidy it up sometimes, sometime in the future, but uh, for now um, it's totally okay to for me to work with it like it is. Then I have a separate um, spreadsheet for the current stats of my MC and I have a tab for every chapter I publish the stats. This was one of the early chapters um, where I thought I could um, publish them via HTML but this was not the case. Now I uh, do screenshots of the stats and post them as pictures. And uh, then I have a separate uh, spreadsheets for enemies and friends <laughs> and frenemies. This is my newest stat table spreadsheet. Yeah, let's go through them one by one. Let's start with the master mon monster, the boss monster. I show you um, the first tab, the dashboard, for a um, few seconds. Here's where uh, that's the oldest part of the spreadsheet. And there are notes and a bit of calculation that never worked out. Things like this, um, I wasn't there in a long time. Training is the stat sheet that I am the most at because I'm at the beginning at my story. I'm 30 chapters in. My MC does a lot of training because I love training arcs. Yeah, Movies like Karate Kid or I don't know the English title of it, maybe American Tiger or something like this. Yeah, movies with training arcs and stories with training arcs are exactly my thing. So my MC trains a lot. This helps me to calculate how much um, time she needs to train something up. Let's say you've got um, running on level um, 1 and want to train it up uh, to level 5. One bout of training is 10 minutes long. Then it depends um, how talented you are in running. Let's say you are not that talented and how much time of the 10 minutes you really spend running. So let's say you spend most of the time running but you do it nothing special like uh, special weights or so let's call it an advanced training and you are average talented so that means you train with a training efficiency of um, five So this means you need one third of an hour to level it uh, from 1 to 5 to 25. It would be uh, 10 hours. The second, let's call it block, is that I have, um, that I know, okay, my MC, she does uh, three hours of martial arts training. 
and she currently has a level of let's say um, 34 but she is a lower level than 34 this means there is an extra uh, training difficulty and so she gets in this three hours of training not really to level uh, 35 but maybe she started not at 34 but at 34.0 or never tested it with points so okay <laughs> now she reached um, level 35 yeah this is more for for people for people who want it to know very special and I use it sometimes if as a rule of thumb and sometimes I really calculate everything and most times I do a mixture of both. So this is my spreadsheet for spells. This is uh, one of the first um, spreadsheets as well and um, so it grown and got changed quite a lot. So it basics is for calculating the DPS that I know okay how long will a fight take or how powerful is um, one of the spells. I'm reworking um, how spells and skills uh, function at the moment so this um, is half obsolete and will become obsolete um, in future. Uh, basically you can modify your spells with perks and I believe I will um, change the name perks as well in variations so you can have uh, spell variations like um, the, the effect duration the cast time you can modify the cool time the cooldown of course the damage or the mana cost the range lots of other things and um, there are special variations which I shouldn't spoil if you're a reader <laughs> of mine. Okay, okay maybe say one of the special uh, modifications I'm uh, are variations ah, that's really not good from of me that I didn't fix the name of the variation or perks or modification. I think I will have a problem with it in the future. I think I believe I call them even variants in my story before. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is not good. Oh, I, I wanted to tell you about my favorite variant. It's a spreading kind of variant. Like you um, debuff one mob and uh, the debuff spreads to the mobs surrounding it. Or not but the variation isn't only for debuffs it can uh, be like a lightning that uh, if you do a damage spell like lightning that the lightning spreads or if you do a healing um, spell then the healing spreads so yeah I'm looking forward to this um, variant and use it, it in overpowered ways yeah this was a spell tab and uh, like I said, it's currently in a rework. I want to finish the rework by end of October because I want to have reliable formulas when the Remo starts because they don't count to my words, my word count. So um, I want to get it fixed beforehand. Monsters, this is obsolete, obsolete because I've got now my enemy spreadsheet. Um, I still have the attributes tables for enemies there just to, for quick calculations but you know like it is with, with um, redundancy it's not good so this has to go soon. The same is with um, the uh, character stats, uh, stat sheets. This uh, has to go soon as well or get. Here I've done some um, meta game for different uh, professions. Just that I have, you know, 
rule of thumb what I think that um, the pro gamers are going for. Equipment, this is one of the most uh, chaotic uh, things as well. I, um, when I think about it, I post every equipment my MC got in her backpack or in her inventory so that I don't have to go through the chapters and look, oh, what's this equipment, Was what were the stats of this? Um, but um, I haven't updated it very well, so this is something I should get done in October as well. This should be in crafting. This is how much um, the max stats are for one slot. So if you are level um, 1 to 25 and the equipment is rated A, then it has agility of 2 on it. If it's rated E, it has only agility plus one on it. So it's mainly um, for crafting and of course for the equipment my MC gets from quests, monsters, you know, the usual stuff, so that um, there are no chumps and everything is balanced. This tab is for calculating the XP. So um, this is for the first table is for the monster XP. The MC slays a monster which is two levels under her. So she gets two XP. If she slays a monster the same level as her, she gets th 3 XP. <laughs> if she slays a monster that's more than 25 levels above her, she gets 7 XP. These are um, example calcul cal calculations. Um, so if you're level 100, you get for uh, you get the 3 XP if if it's level 100 as well, yeah, and you get 4 XP if it's this um, level. The XP doesn't change with when the level goes up because uh, it's that the need for XP to get to the next level is uh, raising. So you always get uh, the same amount of XP because that's easier for me. <laughs> Um, this is uh, XP through crafting and XP for quests. How the finished product is rated has an influence of how many XP you get. If um, it's only a modification of an existing item, you get less XP um, than if it's an invention, of course. This is the XP for quests. Quests are rated as well. and. It is rated how good you accomplished a quest. This is uh, how much um, XP you needed to level up. If your current level is uh, 6, you need 600 XP. And if your current level is 25, you need this amount of XP. And let's say your current level is um, this, you need this um, amount of XP. Here I made some example calculations that I know uh, how good my system is balanced. This means you kill an enemy in 5 seconds. You get um, 3 XP per enemy and you grind 16 hours a day then you would need to reach level 200, uh, 1624 days. So uh, that's a lot, yes. So it's better to do, um, to mix quests in with um, poor grinding. Let's say it like this, um, our Asian friends won't have that much advantage about the rest of the world <laughs> because um, Asian uh, games are very grinding intensive 
and they often prefer grinding um, above leveling in uh, the Asian uh, lit RPG stories, uh, but in my lit RPG system you don't fare well uh, with this uh, strategy. Then um, I've got Batches. Batches is the equivalent to the your name is above your head in World of Warcraft, so everybody can see some um, information um, about their enemies or their companions. Um, I show you the design of the batch. So this is like um, batch looks approximately. So the title is Lady, the name is Mulder, the class is Energy Master, um, this is the level. And um, this is the batch of an NPC boss. You can see this, uh, that this is a boss because of the um, arrows protruding from it. And um, this is the recommended group size. This is my names tab. So I have here the names of all the people uh, that are in my story, uh, the real life name if applicable, uh, the nickname and a short description. These are names of places, uh, things, companies, worlds, currencies. The tab is called inventory, but um, it's only the monetary values. I've got a bit of a um, shitty currency system. Let's call it overcomplicated currency system. There are many different currencies and um, this is how I keep track of them. So I write uh, the uh, chapter as well. So if I have to um, correct something, I find it fast, hopefully. Um, slang. I have invented uh, some slang for the story. That's one of the tabs I'm way behind in maintaining timeline. Important that I don't <laughs> lose track. If you don't read my novel you are maybe amazed that every day is a double. That's because there is a uh, the time dilation between virtual reality and a uh, real life and um, it's uh, two times. One real life time is two days in virtual reality. Milestones. Yeah, maybe I should speak a bit about my attributes. Okay, these are the attributes. You've got physical attributes and um, magical attributes and one of my pet peeves is that in most lit RPG you got four or five physical attributes and two magical attributes. So um, I think that's not fair that people who engage in physical combat have to raise much more stats than um, people who engage in magical combat. And uh, so I wanted to make them um, the same. Power as physical attribute is strength, as magical attributes is intelligence in um, most systems. Um, macro control is agility, micro control dexterity, ego vitality. Uh, I tested something like <laughs> this. This is um, regeneration. I don't have to explain this. Uh, defense. Yeah, this is the problem um, with redundance. I um, corrected it in so many places that defense is spelled with an S, but uh, yeah, there's always more places I find uh, uh, with the wrong spelling. Uh, perception, I don't have to explain this as well. So um, power, intelligence, macro control is how good you can um, create spells. I called it um, modeling, spell modeling. Uh, micro control is how good you can uh, place uh, spells. It's the equivalent to dexterity. 
So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, Rigo is um, the amount of mana, regeneration mana, and um, regeneration defense against magic, and this is defense against physical, of course. Perception, magic perception. Pools, um, health, stamina, mana, pool concentration are, uh, are dependent on uh, the attributes, of course. And the level is one thing, and um, the operational value is another thing. It's on a diminishing curve. That means, uh, let's say, you've got 10, 25, 100. So uh, 10, 25 is more than double than 10, but the operation value is not double. And uh, 25, 100 is 4 times 25, but uh, the operational value is only doubled. Good, that's to the attributes. Ah, I, maybe I don't uh, should explain my system and only explain my um, spreadsheet, otherwise this will get too long. So, okay, back to the spreadsheet. We have time, we have time, we have milestones. Oh, okay. So these milestones uh, are raised with every tier. Every tier is 25, 50, 10, 200, and 20, 50 is then the next realm. So I keep track of this here. And then metal is bad against magic, and this is uh, to calculate how bad metal is for magic. Achievements, I just keep track of achievements. To-do list, um, this is the to-do list of my MC. She has a to-do list which is administered by her AI because she is um, old. Okay, everybody needs a to-do list in my opinion. So, uh, zones. Zones have um, different properties. Potions and crafting, that I keep track uh, how much a potion helps you, um, that everything is balanced as well through the levels. Classes, um, here I post um, what are the gains of the classes. And retcon, these are things that I changed for already published chapters. So I thought it is better to distinguish passive and active um, effects on titles, but I haven't changed it uh, yet on my currently published uh, chapters. Now we are in the next spreadsheet. This is my stat tables uh, spreadsheet and it's only the stat tables of the MC end of my ninja hand project. And uh, one tab is uh, one chapter where I will write about the stats or publish them or publish the tables. So I know exactly um, on what chapters I wrote what stats. So if I have to correct them, I know exactly where I have to do the precision operation. And um, this was one learning by doing. <laughs> this came from the experience from my first lit RPG book. Uh, yeah, sometimes you have to do revisions, and uh, I hope this serves me well. To, yeah, and I have not only the current stats, I have as well the uh, difference from the last stat sheets. So um, I work like this. I um, write what did my MC since uh, the last stat sheets, and then I go in the uh, training tab and calculate the training that I know um, how much the attributes changed and how much um, 
the affinities and resistances, the skills and the abilities changed. So, and uh, you see here that I always write um, the changes as well. And I do sometimes mark them in a different color if there were special changes like to um, the mods. But I have to remove this color when I uh, post it on the pages because some people have uh, light themes for reading it, some people have dark themes for reading it. So um, having colored uh, tables is not good for web fiction. Okay, now to my last um, stat sheet. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's a stat sheet as well. It's um, the enemies, friends and family. So I've got a feature that I can generate stats for my um, NPCs. So we have now a level 4. Difficulty is um, 2 soldier. Uh, let's make it a normal group modification. Um, it's for a solo player, so 1. So then difficulty 1 got uh, I can modify it for there are more tanky enemies or more um, damage dealing enemies so I'm allowed to, uh, to modify the stats with one so it's currently above one let's make here four and let's say it's um, it's a damage dealer but got a bit of health. Nothing in the way of magic. So this uh, modifies then the stats um, for a bit. Here the OV is what counts. That's that um, the mob is a bit stronger in these kind of uh, stats. Here I've got a health pool. So, so let's say it's not a normal monster, it's not a normal moss, uh, <laughs> mob, but it's a boss. That means it got a difficulty of 5. And um, I'm allowed to uh, modify the stats until here a 5 is written. Let's say it's an DD as well. with a bit of health. And a um, bit of defense. Oops. So uh, now we have the um, stats for a uh, boss of uh, this level and uh, you can see it differs quite a lot from a normal um, enemy but these values differ even more because um, a boss has a special um, boss health and special boss mana thingy. Let's say it's a boss in a dungeon. So group modification of five. So um, this mods only the health but not um, how much damage uh, he takes. And um, the affinity and resistances boss have um, boss resistances as well so they boss have boss resistances <laughs> as well so I um, use this for companions as well because companions like um, pets 
have a uh, difficulty from and of course uh, they are not <laughs> they have no group uh, modificator or oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I can generate pr uh, pretty easily um, enemies and friends and uh, know their stats and know their um, attack values. Yeah, to the attack values, I'm um, currently uh, working on them on my uh, current stat uh, sheet and I changed a bit uh, of the mechanics comparing it to my former uh, mechanics yeah but this is yeah more game mechanics so okay why i'm telling you this here is that i want to calculate every um, fight not in detail with every damage but uh, rule of the thumb because it's a pet peeve of mine if um, a uh, fight against a trash mob is one minute long and uh, the trash mob has 100 HP and the first hit is 25 um, damage and uh, it still takes a minute and this was i told you an example from a existing popular story it's called uh, the thief who reincarnated or something like this and the balancing of this is just crap and um, the skill rotations are just crap and i care about things like balancing and skill rotations and um, i will hope that my story will have a solid meter game and not a solid meter game for everyone and not um, if uh, my mc hits a boss it will uh, be vanquished easily and if someone else hits the boss he will die okay everyone has the same chances and um, it depends how good they are preparing how good they train up their attributes their skills their abilities and how good um, is their meta game how good is their rot rotations how much control they have over their cooldowns. And this is one of the most fun aspects of um, gaming for me to optimize uh, my equipment, to optimize my stats, to optimize my loadout, to optimize the approaches to different enemies, the tactics for different bosses. So of course this has um, a big influence on my story. You won't see much of this thingies in the story itself, yeah, because I know other people don't enjoy it as much as me, <laughs> but um, I think you will feel it, yeah. You will feel it if you compare it, you will feel it if the number makes sense or doesn't make sense, and uh, this is my goal in my stories the numbers should make sense and they should be comparable for everyone yeah that's to them good uh, this video is uh, much too long so uh, i hope you enjoyed my stats uh, sheets i have very much fun in calculating all this stuff doing all the formula works yeah <laughs> so um see you soon and if you're interested in lit rpg stuff and the booze worries and successes of a lit rpg author please follow my channel and subscribe of course uh, comment like and uh, dislike this vi this uh, video just um, like you feel and i hope to see you soon ciao